Hello and welcome to another episode of Your AKT Podcast, which is hosted by wellmedic.co.uk. This scenario will be taken from reproductive health. The question banks will often cover very common fertility questions, the commonest being which are the initial investigations required for infertility. Now, the question for this scenario is a little bit different. You have a 38-year-old female patient who presents to you with her male partner. They have been trying to conceive for six months, but have failed to fall pregnant. They have been in a relationship for 15 years, and they have only used barrier contraception. The female partner has a background of low mood. She has regular periods, which occur every 35 days. She does not smoke, and she currently takes sertraline. The male partner has no known medical problems. He smokes 15 cigarettes per day. He reports having two episodes of chlamydia during his early 20s. And for the last three years, he describes an odd feeling in his testicle on the left side. Which factors from within this scenario would prompt an early referral for infertility? So generally speaking, a referral is often indicated after one year of trying to conceive with regular intercourse. 84% of couples will conceive within one year if they have regular unprotected sexual intercourse and unprotected intercourse here should occur every two to three days. Now I'm sure that we can all confess that taking a sexual history can be daunting and for many people regular sexual intercourse will have a different meaning. So in this scenario there are a few points that would support an early referral. The age of the female partner would support an early referral as women aged 36 years or older should be referred at six months of trying. The male partner also has reasons to spot an early referral and we'll go through some of these now. He has a history of previous sexually transmitted infections and that counts in both male and female partners to indicate early referral. The odd feeling in his testicle could well represent a varicocele so that again may warrant an earlier referral. So in summary, when we talk about early referrals for infertility, when we consider female patients, then it's whether they are aged 36 years or over, um, if they suffer with oligo or amenorrhea, if they've previously had any abdominal or pelvic surgery, if they've known to have pelvic inflammatory disease or previous sexually transmitted infections, you find an abnormality on pelvic examination. Let's say there's a, a fixed retroverted uh, uh, uterus that may uh, indicate some underlying endometriosis. Let's say there's a known reason for infertility. Uh, so maybe the patient's known to have significant endometriosis or they've had pelvic irradiation for cancer. That Those would prompt early referral. Now, in male patients, it, it covers kind of previous genital pathology, uh, whether they've had any previous urogenital surgery, whether they have previous STIs, as was in our case, whether the patient's got a varicocele, uh, if they suffer with systemic or significant systemic illness, if they have an abnormal genital examination, which you may well find in this patient, or finally, as similar with our female patients, if there is a known reason for in infertility, so let's say the patient has had some degree of irradiation, then that would also support a early referral. Thank you very much for listening. This podcast is hosted by wellmedic.co.uk. We help GP trainees pass the AKT.